didn't know where you guys were today. I didn't know. I don't have any pants on, so hopefully the camera's not too low. As we continue the uh, disclosure and the exciting event this week for the Alpha Investments, 6.9 years on YouTube, 3,000 videos, and tremendous support from all of you over the last uh, almost seven years. Isn't that crazy? And uh, the thousands of patrons and the unbelievable journey it's been, obviously, yesterday. If you haven't seen it, we disclosed the, uh, the gold pins for the anniversary kit on the uh, layer one for the accessories. You get the uh, all the golden pins and gold-plated pins, not solid gold. And you get the uh, custom oversized etched or whatever uh, flesh and blood dice. And, of course, I disclosed to you guys yesterday that, you know, if your pin ends in 69, you get a free case of, you know, whether it's Weiss or flesh and blood or magic or Kamigawa or streets or boulders gates or, again, the pin kind of fits the theme. So, you know, you get a dumpster fire pin, you get Boulder's Gate, you know. You get the, you know, articulated, I don't know, the uh, the bookcase or the logo, you get Kamigawa, something better. You know, so I kind of thought the pins were a good theme to match the set. So, obviously, um, as expected, this video is uh, pre-filmed, so that's why uh, yesterday I looked unshaven, today I'm shaven, but um, if my prediction is correct, uh, most comments and feedback yesterday was going to be very, oh, Rudy's trying to unload the bad products. Oh, God, what a creative way. This video is being filmed a couple weeks ago by the time you guys watch this. So if my chess move is correct on the board, by the time you watch this video, 50% um, of the public's opinion should be Rudy's trying to unload bad products or something like that. So hopefully my prediction is correct because these are being filmed in advance and I'm guessing on the chess board. So today, in layer two of the box, um, there are three slots. You get a Flesh and Blood slot, a Metazoo slot, and a Magic the Gathering slot. In the Magic the Gathering slot, which has uh, not been revealed yet, you either get one of these serialized beta cards. No, there are no rares, and there are no Power 9, so don't think you're going to get rich and 10 extra money, because that's not what we're doing. But if you don't get one of those, because there's only, I think, only uh, 300 out of the 2,500 will have the beta one. But that video is coming closer to the end to really shock at the end. So, um, there is something else. So if you don't get that, um, not only is there a potential for redemptions on the gold pins, but in layer two, um, there is actually another redemption thank you idea. And no, it's not pre-release cases. No, it's not Weiss cases. Um, as you all know, I've been showing this background in this particular warehouse and location. And you guys have seen some of these, you've seen the pre-release kits, but I've never showed you this way. So today, we're going to turn the camera and I'm going to show you... Um, a surprise in the last well before we do in the last six to twelve months I have been actively actively accumulating and buying all of these secret layer ultimate edition to pathways 10 card super set and um, essentially put I've been buying them well because they're underpriced and stupidly cheap and it's an amazingly beautiful product and uh, simply put I was saving them the last year to accumulate to use as a redemption to pretty much patrons can claim my entire inventory position of Secret Lair Ultimate Edition. So let's show, let's turn the camera and uh, let's show you guys exactly uh, what's what. So actually, over here, um, let's get the camera set up. As you can see, we have the largest remaining Secret Lair Ultimate Edition sealed product left in existence. So I've been essentially buying everything for 6 to 12 months from everyone, from every distributor, open market, or anything. That's essentially what this is. And if you guys don't know what this is, let me help you out. You've never seen one of these before. They're quite beautiful. So these open up into the most ridiculous secret layer packaging you've ever seen in your life. Probably, I mean, even the Rudy packaging is nowhere near as nice as this. This stuff is flipping beautiful. So you get the giant oversized Secret Lair Ultimate Edition. And, of course, you get the gorgeous five-card setup. But it's not five cards! Just so you guys know, each one of these has a card in the front and the back. And, no, I know they're two-sided, but there's actually two cards in each one of these. So you get ten of these promo cards. So, I always felt that this item... Should be a couple hundred dollars. And the fact that the market was treating it like trash, but again, I can't close up. But again, the market's been treating everything like trash because it's a bear market. 
I thought what a beautiful, fun surprise is that, um, well, this entire brick of Secret Lair Ultimate Editions, which is essentially what I believe is over 90% of the remaining supply that has not been broken down and trashed and, you know, the packaging and everything. And um, this will be an option for the, if you do not get one of the beta redeemable signed serialized cards from the Sue Ellen Custom Art Series, which is going to be revealed soon. But if you do not get that, you have pretty much a pretty good chance. I think it's like a one-third chance. There's a couple hundred of these, so maybe like 20% of the kits or something. Now, um, that's it for today. We're going to cut it off there. I think we're just going to, I just want to share a nice fun surprise. And again, everybody, uh, hopefully uh, the the engineering is correct. And yesterday everybody was like, oh, reselling is trash. So to, uh, hopefully that's the going internet consensus on social media by the time this vi this video goes live. And like I said, this was the, uh, the planned move on the board based on the timing. So other than that, everybody, thank you all for the long-term support. Thank you to the thousands upon thousands of patrons that allowed me to do this. Thanks to everybody who enjoys the videos. Uh, whether you like me or not, it, I appreciate the views and allowing everybody to see a different perspective of the world of cardboard that, quite frankly, I don't see as available anywhere else on YouTube, on the internet, or anywhere else. I don't believe anyone is going to provide you the transparency or conversation on a large scale collector investor with collectibles and specifically focused on magic pokemon flesh and blood meta zoo and of course you know i still like force of will and you know the whites and everything so i don't believe anyone else is going to be as non-emotional and straightforward and blunt about it because it's a lot of money people get weird and crazy when it comes to a lot of money and of course a lot of people simply how do i say it a lot of people online everybody claims they have 100 black lotuses right everybody says they've got Tons of sealed cases of every white set. Everybody's got sealed cases of everything, right? That's what internet warriors say. That was why I knew at the very early days of this YouTube channel, I had learned if I wanted the channel to work, I'm going to have to show and reveal and make it look kind of braggy or kind of put it in everyone's face that, that's what she said, giggity. You're going to have to put it right in front of everyone's face about the volume and the money and the risk and the perspective that I have. Otherwise, there's no other real way to really present a credible viewpoint in what better way to do it than the guy who's showing you he's all in. If a guy is showing you that I'm putting everything into it and I've been doing this my whole life, it's tough to believe because everyone says that online. I'm going to spec it. This standard card's going to $100 already. Yep. Liliana's going to 69 but only on Wednesdays. But, you know, everybody talks a big game online. Every YouTube channel um, really tries to go for that angle. Um, I'd say probably in the 6.9 years I've been on YouTube, um, I would say I probably had 30 to 50 attempts at duplicating my YouTube channel. Uh, I think I've counted 28 attempts at copying my Patreon account. And I'd say probably about 30 or 40 attempts at trying to duplicate like the bookshelf or the conversations and the scripts and the box openings and everything. Well, actually the box openings have been hundreds of people, but... That's really what it is, and I felt that a component of this anniversary event and the celebration of 6.9 years with the patrons and the YouTube channel had to include Secret Lair. I, I, didn't, I felt in the, since the end of 2019, when the very first Secret Lair was announced, we were all excited, suspicious, cautious, and end of magic. I knew in the last two and a half years that Secret Lair was going to continue to expand in Secret Lair now, whether you love it, you hate it, or whatever you feel about it is a part of the ecosystem of CCGs and Magic the Gathering. And because that's such a big component of the world of Wizards and Hasbro and Papa Bezos, I felt it was necessary to include a large chunk of Secret Lairs, um, the Ultimate Edition, for a lot of the Redemption cards. So this entire, I don't know the exact count, I think it's between three and 400, I think, in this position. And then there's another, there's a reserve position in the back, which I think is another like 180, so minus about a 10 or 20 unit buffer. Um, that gives you an idea of the quantity. So it should maybe be a quarter or 20% of the kit, something like that. But I just felt it was an important component. We, we all have to acknowledge that Secret Lair is here to stay. We have to acknowledge Secret Lair is part of magic. It is part of Hasbro. If it's not reserveless, it's going to be 
targeted for Secret Lair eventually. So I just hope you guys appreciate it. It's something I've been working on for almost a year, accumulating these things. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm still very surprised that these things aren't a couple hundred dollars a piece. Um, I believe they will get there. Um, again, before I cut the video off, thank you to everybody for the support, the views, and friendly reminder. Uh, the Alpha Investments Anniversary Box is not a way to make quick tendies. You're not going to double, triple, quadruple your money. I'm sure one or two people will get real lucky for some more things that are being... Actually, 1% will probably get real lucky, but that's just... You guys are going to get very unique items. But overall, this is something that I engineered and designed in a way where if I was opening it, each part of it would be a fun experience. You know, the pins. Okay, well, they're beautiful pins, and I, they look great on display, but let's also check the numbers. You know, I wanted everything to have an extra layer. That was the point. That's why the kit has three layers. And like I said, layer two has three card slots. And um, the Magic the Gathering slot, if you don't get an actual card, you get a redemption card. So yes, answer a few quick questions. Uh, yes, it is possible to hit a redemption or a bonus reward with the gold pins. Yes, because all the pins are shuffled, it is possible for some people to get two golden pins ending in 69. Yes, it is possible to get a golden pin ending in 69 and a secret layer layer two instead of a single card you get a different bonus it is possible to get multiple in that category um that is about it thank you to everybody and as always hope you have a beautiful day and i uh, appreciate all the support out there and remember please if you choose to be a patron and buy one of these things um please film the opening and please upload it on youtube send me an email send me a link i want to see which ones you get and what you pull and we can all share in the experience so make sure you do that and of course, so everyone online, and make sure, of course, when you open it, make sure you pull the pins out and look at the numbers and everything. You can show the number on camera. It's not like you have to hide it or anything because, again, you have to send the actual pin back to me to get a bonus. But that's all I have. Thanks, everybody. Beautiful world out there. Remember, keep the negative people. Try not to associate with people that bring you down. Try not to be surrounded by people who bash other stores, distributors, other YouTubers. Don't associate with that kind of stuff because it's a toxic thing. And remember, your life and your perspective on your life is only going to be as good as the, about the top five or ten people you surround yourself with on a daily basis. So if you surround yourself and spend the most time with five to ten people that are always negative, always trying to attack, always trying to copy, always trying to bring down that store, that YouTuber, that person, that guy, that girl, chances are it's going to rub off on you and it's going to give you more of a bitter outlook. Yes, I know the world's not perfect. There's a lot of problems in the world. But there's still a lot more reasons to be optimistic. Wouldn't be an Alpha Investments video if we didn't end it with you looking at my penis.